what to expect. Okay. okay, who am I? My slides are actually timed. Um, I've been a faculty member here for eight years. Uh, before that, I was at the University of Arizona for 14 years. Um, sometimes people ask me why I moved. Uh, personal reasons associated with health, one of many midlife crises, and a chance to refocus my work on something that's uh, near and dear to my heart, where I could have an applied impact in the real world. I work on snow-covered mountains. I work on watershed hydrology, uh, watershed biogeochemistry. I wanted to move here. My background's a little convoluted. I'm really a biochemist. I started in an MD, PhD. Other little personal things, finances and issues sort of delayed that. And it took a number of years until quite a few years until I actually ended up getting a PhD. I've had quite a range of employment. This is my 17th career in, in some way or shape or counting. Um, and so this is by far the most fun and hopefully it's an important one. Again, my research is in watershed biogeochemistry. The, the hydroeco cryobiogeochemistry is something that my students came up with to make fun because they're all working on different topics. I teach in the core, and I also developed the Interdisciplinary Graduate Certificate in Hydrology and Water Resources, which is a great program for anyone interested in water. And I try to stitch together all the related research that we have ongoing here uh, close to campus. The campus has a living lab and beyond into some sort of structure. I don't think my timer's working. I'm sure I've been talking for around two minutes. <laughs> um, smooth as silk. We're going smooth as silk. Okay. And so I'm not going to say much more about that because I, I'm up for my five-year review. I've been here eight years. I'm up for my five-year review. I can't do the math on that. I used to think I was good at math, but what I'm going to talk about in a couple of weeks is how we go from process level understanding of snow and snowfall in the mountains and how that water actually gets to our reservoirs. What are the opportunities that we have to majorly improve water resource management in the face of climate change, uh, growing populations, and the tremendous legal uncertainty that we now have unveiling on the Colorado River in areas like this throughout the world? Okay, I forgot who's next. <laughs>